Ubisoft finally released the patch notes for update 1.03 that launched Wednesday, October 10th on PS4 and Xbox One and October 11th on the PC. And now we know why it took so long because the update notes are enormous with a ton of things they changed and fixed. While I already mentioned some things in recent videos, there's way more that is interesting to discuss, including some new things they added. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. So in my update 1.03 video, I mentioned that the quiver was upgraded and now Ubisoft released the levels at which that happens. So if you are level 1, you will have 40 basic arrows and 15 special arrows, something that everyone had throughout the whole game. But now with update 1.03, your quiver upgrades at level 15 to 50 basic arrows and 25 special arrows. At level 30, the standard arrows go to 60 max and the special arrows to 30. And on level 50, it goes to 70 and 35 special arrows. So we already knew there were some differences between the levels, but it's nice to know like the extra exact level at which your quiver upgrades. They also adjusted the required level for some quests in chapter 7 of the family story of the game so the gap would not be as big. Like I had no issues with this since I was just doing a ton of side stuff like the conquest battles and the bounties so I could go to the story whenever I wanted without having to level up first. While if you just wanted to follow like the main story mainly then there were some huge gaps in sequence 7. Since I already like finished the game I'm not sure how much they decreased the level requirements I would imagine there's still some sort of gap but Ubisoft notes that it has been decreased another thing they reworked is one of my favorite abilities in the game call to arms I noted this in my best skills you should get as soon as possible video that it's really nice to have a lieutenant you recruited by your side to help you during combat it's a stealth ability so you can't use it while fighting and what they changed now with update 1.03 is that they actually made it so that the lieutenants have more health and also deal more damage. So I already thought that this ability was pretty strong, but they made it even stronger. Okay, fine. There are some issues with this ability still though, and they are looking into fixing it because many times an unexpected lieutenant shows up well, it should be the lieutenant you have in the first slot, like in the ship menu. I also sometimes have that no lieutenant shows up at all, and then you like zoom into the enemy and then nothing happens. So yeah, Ubisoft is looking into fixing this ability, but no word on when they will change it. Going back to the things they already recently fixed and also changed and added with update 1.03. And one thing is regarding the Minotaur, the Force quest line, where wrong names or objectives could be displayed. And I heard and saw some people tweet to me that after the update they suddenly got this Minotaur quest in their quest lock thinking it has something to do with a sort of trial of god style of thing. Of course, if you're not familiar, in Origins sometimes these big gods would like appear and then you had one week to take them out. In Odyssey, we still don't know if something like this will happen, although they did tease that mythical creatures will play a part in the post-launch content events. Anyway, this Minotaur quest is like not connected to that at all, it's just a side quest that was already in the game, a really cool one by the way. And I discussed this mission like in a recent video too about the Minotaur helm because at the end of the sort of quest line that you will do when you like start this quest, you will get the awesome Minotaur helm. But yeah, still interesting that it's only showed up in people's quest log for sure, while they did not like pick it up themselves. Some fixes and changes are regarding the conquest battles, like there's now a death tip when trying to do the Mega Reads conquest battle, so the first one in the game, when you are too low level, so that when you die it says, hey maybe you should not do this. Also the transition from a loading screen to a conquest battle should be improved in general. Good thing to note is that the amount of wood you get through boarding and cleaving with your ship is increased, so you'll get more materials if you destroy a ship that way. But yeah, you will get most of your materials of course from dismantling items. If you decide to sell them though, then you might have noticed that the selling speed at the blacksmith is faster now. As of update 1.03 or if you are on console 1.04, there are some bugs with some legendary perks that just don't work properly. Well now one of these things has been tackled, namely the minus one adrenaline cost would not work in the arena. Well, Ubisoft fixed that with update 1.03 and you get this one from one of the best weapons in the game. Made a video on that that you can watch by clicking on the screen, but at the end of this video I will also link to it so you can also watch it after this video. But yeah, still some legendary perks are broken like for the immortal armor, it does not trigger when you need it so then you just die and have to reload your lost save file. And also damage increase for certain weapons seem to not always apply. 
For interface, we got some interesting things like the engraving icon, I already noted in a previous video, but also a new notification that notes that the engraving cannot be stacked when you put it on multiple items. Got this question? Well, now you know the answer. This seems to be like for all the legendary perks, while the grey ones do stack. They added a celebration for the Ostraka when you like finish them. I still need to do a ton of these puzzles in the game, by the way. They are kind of like the Papari puzzles from Origins. And they'll give you some really, really nice engravings. So maybe a good idea to like chase them in a future stream. Another thing that is pretty small but still interesting to point out is that Ubisoft changed the icon of the black unicorn in the Helix store to better reflect black to look in game and what they changed is the horn so first it was silver but in the game it's black so now in the icon it's also black another ui thing is regarding the xp bar that would be grayed out on level 50 well now it's just gone because you cannot get any more xp after level 50 and i kind of miss the origin system where you would get like an ability point after a certain amount of xp because now you like complete a quest I just see the XP disappear. Ubisoft rebalanced some abilities and also improved their visuals as noted in the patch notes. They reworked the angle for the assassinations as well. Kind of as we discussed in my update 1.4 video where reddit user Renboy2 put up a list saying that rush assassination and also the hero strike ability was improved. Well it seems like Ubisoft indeed tweaked and improved some abilities in some ways. In that video I also talked about my mercenary problem that they don't care about me anymore. Like when I get a level 5 bounty they just don't show up to like collect that bounty. Well they did tweak this mercenary system a little bit with update 1.03. For example the mercenaries will no longer appear to be concentrated in cities. So they are a little like safer. Although I would imagine that they would still come after you if you kill a ton of people in the city. And also the behavior of the mercenaries has been tweaked a little bit when they have elemental damage they will use their enhanced weapons less often to make them like easier to fight I guess. Fixes for the mercenaries includes where the specific quest that you can get at the message board would not show the icon on the map for where the mercenary was and there was also this thing where mercenaries would not come when you were like standing on a boat well now they will fight back and just shoot to you they will not like get on your ship and fight you there but still like shoot arrows so it's not like a cheese tactic that it was before sometimes your crew would not board on ships well Ubisoft resolved this as well and I really like this specific fix because apparently there was an issue where tamed animals would become aggressive after you changed the game's language like how random is that well Ubisoft is still on top of it Overall, the animal behavior should be touched on, loading times should be improved, and before you delete all your saves, you will now be warned that you will lose your progression. Another interesting thing is that the boar, and we all know which one, a lot of people are having issues with this fight. Well, Ubisoft kind of buffed it, you would say, because sometimes the charge attack from this alpha animal would not deal damage. Well, now after update 1.03, it does again. And I see like a lot of people talk about this fight recently. If you are somehow not familiar, it's over here in the game. So it's a level 13 side quest and people that like encounter it on level 13 are like, okay, screw it, I come back. But even when they come back at a high level, they still have issues killing it. And I shared my tips in my best weapons you can get as soon as possible video. Where I said like focus on the devastating shot. Shoot the boar multiple times like as much as possible. And use a heavy blunt weapon to kill the smaller ones. Then it's totally doable. But people are still having a hard time with this fight. I also see it on Reddit. Whoa the boar was buffed. And Greg Miller like one of the persons I really like in terms of gaming content. Also recently tweeted out that after 50 hours he finally found a worthy opponent. So nice little quality of life things in this first big patch after launch, apart from that boar buff maybe. If you by the way saw some hidden changes, like something that we mostly see in these Assassin's Creed updates, things they changed but they did not tell you about. I already saw one myself namely and want to include that in a secret changes video that I also did with Origins. So if you found something interesting they changed with update 1.03 or 1.04 because that of course launched like really soon after 1.03 
but I did not know that change in this video, like a part of course from the chest that is now on your ship where you can store things, because I already mentioned that in previous videos. Anyway, if you found a hidden change, reach out to me in the comments of this video or on Twitter at your Raptor or Instagram your Raptor as well. So we can kind of uncover these secret changes, I always like to do that. Of course, subscribe to stay up to date on these secret changes and everything else that is coming to the game. I got way more awesome videos planned and already up on the channel, so totally check it out. Like I said, I got this video with the best weapons you can get from killing the mythical creatures. So totally check that out if you want to see some of the best weapons in Odyssey. And I will of course speak to you next time. Don't forget to like the video and goodbye.